So what's up you guys, it's your girl Yanka Fikana back at it again with another video. Today's video is sponsored by Her Dream Wigs Co. Collection. You guys, this is a black owned company you guys, so check it out. Those are the things that come inside the um, box. Today I'll be rocking the brand new in it. So right now I already have my wig cap already done and now I'm just wiping my forehead with 91% alcohol. Now what I'm doing is cutting out my ear tabs. There wasn't that much to cut off, like the wig fit me perfectly you guys this wig does come pre-plucked and it's a 13 by 6 parting so now i'm going to go ahead and tint my lace with my foundation shade i'm using the fancy beauty in the color 470 and i'm going to use my gossip be free spray on the lace just so that the makeup won't transfer onto the glue now just to remind you guys this wig does come pre-plucked um and also has a 13 by 6 parting space and now what I'm doing is I'm using my Bold Hold Active Glue and I'm only using two layers and I'm just going to go ahead and place it around my hairline and I'm going to wait for um, each layer to dry completely before I apply the next layer. And again, I'm only using two layers because I don't want to keep this wig on for so long. And now what I'm doing is I'm placing my lace, trying to position it in the places where I want it to be. You want to make sure that the lace is in front or right on the glue. I'd rather it be in front of it just so I could cut it off and then, um, you know, put the places where I didn't get the glue at. You know, I'd rather be safe than sorry. And I'm using my comb and my blow dryer on medium heat just to press the lace into the glue. Now what I'm doing is I'm cutting slits just to prepare myself to cut my lace. And I did four slits this time just so, um, you know, um, I could like have less room for error. And I went ahead and cut off the excess lace because I could not see for nothing, you guys. And by the way, this lace is Swiss lace, but yo, this lace is so thin. You guys, just everything in general, customer service, everything was just so great you guys like honestly invest in black owned businesses i will be doing black owned business videos and this is just one of them you know so yeah you guys support our brothers and sisters and that's all so now i'm taking my eyebrow razor and i'm going to go ahead and cut off my excess lace you want to make sure that you're cutting in a jagged motion you don't want to cut straight across otherwise it's like not gonna you know look good it's gonna look wiggy and as you can see, like, look at that blend, y'all. Like, that blend is immaculate. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and do two layers of glue for any places that I've missed. And I'm using my um, metal part of the rat tail comb just to apply it, just so I could get a real close, um, you know, ap application. You want to make it flawless. And I'm going to go ahead and use my comb just to slightly press it down. And I'm just doing the same process over and over again. That's good. You just want to make sure that you're just doing this really neat and nice so that the the results just come out flawless. You don't want no messy looking, you know, hairline. That's that's a no-go, you guys. Take your time. And this is how we're looking so far before the melt. As you guys can see, it's already pretty melted in my head. But now I'm taking my blow dryer again on medium heat just to um, blow dry the glue dry. And then I'll be taking my Got To Be Free Spray and I'm just going to free spray all over their hairline. And then use my blow drying on medium heat again just to make sure it's dry before I apply my elastic band. 
and when I apply my elastic band I'm gonna sit for about 30 minutes I'm gonna do stuff around the house just so you know I kill time but I usually let the elastic band sit for 30 minutes before I take it off oh but before I did that you guys um yeah I went ahead and cut out my baby hairs just so like I could kind of prep my baby hairs and stuff so um yeah I just went ahead and prep my baby hairs and then I use my hot comb just to hot comb it down All right, you guys, so after waiting 30 minutes, you guys can see that this is scalpy on So I'm taking my eyebrow razor. I'm going to go ahead and cut my baby hairs to about an inch to an inch and a half long. Um, the shorter, the more natural it is. You don't want it too short, though. And now I'm taking my Nairobi setting lotion, and I'm going to use my baby hair comb just to form those baby hairs, y'all. And I'm just going to put that, you know, on my, you know, on my hairline, I'm gonna swoop through, -through and that's it, mommy. That's it. But yeah, you guys, you just wanna make sure that when you're doing this, is you're not, you know, light handed. It's a light handed, oh, you're not heavy handed, you guys. Um, just, you know, be easy because the lace can lift up easily if you're very rough on it. You know, it's like doing finger waves. It definitely do take practice though. So, you know, practice makes perfect, you guys. And then I'm going to apply the Nairobi setting lotion all over my hairline just so when I um, put it put the satin wrap on and take it off it just looks so sleek and flat and just you know set it and neat you know so I'm gonna go ahead and um, put my satin wrap that she has sent me and I'm going to sit for about 30 minutes again or until it's dry and I use both the satin wrap and the elastic band just in case if you know my satin wrap want to move and now we're taking it off, you guys. And let's see the finished results. Yo, you guys, don't tie the elastic band so tight. That gives you a headache. Like, my head was killing me. But boom, look at how melted that is, y'all. Like, come on, y'all not telling me that scalp. Excuse the dent in my head. I don't know <laughs> where that came from. But, yeah, y'all, this is how we look at, ooh, 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 scalpy on a baby. Nah, but um, right now I'm going to go ahead and comb my baby hairs. And I want to comb my baby hairs just so I could cut to see um, what baby hairs were long or, you know, that needs to go. So I comb out my baby hairs and I'm going to go ahead and use my eyebrow razor just to cut places that were a little too long.
Now for a clean look, I'm going to use my spritz. I did want my baby hair soft but still look defined, so this is the perfect way to do it is using the mousse and spritz. So I'm using the brush part of my baby hair comb and I'm spraying the spritz on the brush and I'm going to go ahead and smooth out that hair. Again, because I'm wearing this hair wet, I don't want soft baby hairs with wet hair. It, I mean, that's kind of counterproductive. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and use the uh, spritz just to, you know, give it a more defined and wet looking look, but it's not crunchy. And I'm just spraying the spritz all over the hairline as well, just so when I um, press it out with my hot comb, it looks, you know, together. And I went ahead and did that off camera because you guys see me do that like a thousand and one times. And this is how we are looking, you guys. Um, we're not done with the hair part, but I wanted to start the makeup before I wet my hair because I wanted to keep it wet. So on to the makeup, y'all. Now, first up first, we're going to use our Neutrogena Hydro Boost Moisturizer. We're going to go ahead and moisturize all over our face. Then we're using our Milk Primer, our Hydro Primer, and we're going to apply that all over my face as well. And then I'm using my Becca mattifying primer and I'm just applying that around my t-zones because this primer is a mattifying primer and my t-zones get oily so I'm just applying it where it gets oily I don't want it to be too dry and now I'll be using my Laura Mercier and um, medium deep my translucent powder and I'm applying that on my face just so I could you know hide my pores and stuff and now I'll be using my Lancome Tint Idol 24 Hour Foundation in the color 555. And then I'm just going to use my Real Techniques brush, um, my Instapop brush, just to buff out that foundation all over my face. And then I went in with a smaller brush, um, my Morphe brush, since you know I don't got that much forehead space. <laughs> and um, I'm just going to use that just so I could get, you know, the creases and crevices of my face without getting the makeup on my hair. And I'll be using my Age Rewind Concealer in the color Deep Bronze. And I'm just going to apply that at my T-zone areas. And then I'll be using a damp beauty blender. I let the concealer sit for a little bit before I blended it out. And I'm going to start blending it out outwards first before I blend on the inside. And this is just give me a nice diffused look. And you know, there's no line of demarcation between my foundation and my concealer. And you just want to make sure again like that the beauty blender is damp. Now I am going in with my tart shape tape in the rich bitch color. Y'all already know, like I had to bring it back, y'all. But um I'm gonna apply that as my second coat of concealer just because I want a nice, you know, Chanel bag who, you know, like come on. <laughs> So I'm applying that on underneath my eyes as well as my eyelids and I'm letting the um, the ones under my eye dry for a little bit before I press it out. And now I'm going into my Morphe. I forgot what palette this was but this is the news palette I guess you know. I don't know the number I forgot and I'm nowhere near it. But I'm just using that nice brown shade just to um, you know prep my eyelids you know give my eyelids some color. And now I'm just blending out that concealer. And then I'll be using my Benai powder in the color chestnut just to set my face.
and I'm using my Juvia's Place Saharan um, Volume 2 blush palette and I'm using the color Abbey. I will show you guys the palette but my nephew destroyed my palette so it's just all over the place and I don't want to risk you know having the rest of my life in shambles you know <laughs> so yeah and I'm just gonna go ahead and contour all over my face as well as my nose just to give myself a nice contrast and my face does not look flat Now I'll be using my liquid liner from Essence and I'm going to give myself a nice wing. And now I'll be using my clear lip gloss from the beauty supply store. Um, it's the NK lip gloss. And I'm just going to go ahead and use a flat shader brush and apply the lip gloss onto my eyelids. You guys, we're going for a very wet look. You feel me? Like we are where everything is wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm applying that on my eyelids and um, yeah, you guys just be careful You don't want to get it on the eyeliner and then I'm just gonna use my finger just to diffuse the Lip gloss just so that you know it, it isn't a harsh gradient And now I'll be using my MAC Studio Fix Powder in the color NW58 and I'm just going to use that to set the rest of my face. And I put on my lashes off camera and you know my under, lot, my under eyes as well and now I'm going into my MUA highlighter in the color Golden Afterglow to highlight my eyebrows. For the first time we're doing highlight in a minute you guys and I actually enjoy this highlight you know it wasn't too you know out there. You guys know I don't really use highlight like I used to anymore. But yeah, I'm like, you know what, since we do all wet everything, everything got everything gotta look wet. So I feel like the highlighter would have been the perfect look for it. And I'm just highlighting my nose, my keeper's bow, as well as um, you know, the the apples of my cheeks, I guess, if you want to call it that. And now I'm just setting my, my face with my Morphe setting mist and then I'm using my foundation brush just to pat that you know setting spray in and I use a black lip liner and my clear lip gloss from the Beauty Supply Store again. And now I'll be using my Lotta Body Setting Lotion um, to define my curls. And you guys, if you guys are going for a wet look, I suggest you using a mousse. Don't use water and conditioner because that will make your hair fluffy. You don't want your hair being fluffy during the day. Definitely invest in using a mousse. And the Lotta Body um, Coconut and I believe... I forgot what it was, but uh, yeah, Lotta Body setting lotion put it in your hair you gonna look wet all day okay I'm just playing with the hair until I get like my desired look you guys and yo this look is such a vibe like oh I never thought that I would have pulled this off or not I think I kind of did but like I didn't think it was gonna look this good like I feel grown I feel sexy like I feel like my age like I feel like I'm actually 22 and not 12 you know so yeah, you guys, um, if you were looking for some summer hair, this is definitely it. Like, it's lightweight. Ugh, this hair is just so beautiful. This company, Her Dream Wigs Co., really did the damn thing with this wig. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you have not. And I will catch you guys in the next segment. Now, watch me feel myself. Later.